In Tokyo, a humanoid robot is being tested as a potential caregiver for Japan's aging population. Dubbed Eric, or AI-driven robot for embrace and care, the system recently demonstrated its ability to assist with elderly care by gently rolling a man onto his side, an essential move for changing diapers or preventing bed sores. Developed to address the country's chronic shortage of aged care workers, the 330-pound Eric represents a glimpse into the future of robotic caregiving. In January, China had proposed plans to integrate humanoid robots and AI into elderly care, as outlined in new guidelines issued by the State Council to address demographic challenges. As aging populations and low birth rates drive the need for care services, humanoid robots are increasingly being investigated for palliative caregiving roles. Demographic transition from young to old has resulted in the dwindling of nurses, underscoring the need for automated solutions to complete jobs effectively and securely. Despite the urgency, researchers at Wazita University claim that the integration of robotics and caregiving is still limited because of technological obstacles that need to be addressed before it can be widely used. Deep Neural Network or DNN-powered, multipurpose, AI-driven household robots are gaining attention. Caregiving robots must modify their movements to fit a variety of unanticipated situations, unlike industrial robots with preset movements. Because humanoid robots are incapable of handling complicated tasks, DNN improves robot perception and motion planning. Adaptive motion is essential to caregiving robots. Researchers point out that while previous studies have demonstrated DNN's capacity to direct robotic arms in precise tasks, providing care necessitates more complex force control. Robots must know when and how to apply force to provide safe and efficient treatment while avoiding needless pressure on delicate places. An earlier study in 2024 by a Wazita University team proposed a deep learning-based architecture for a humanoid robot that can adjust joint stiffness dynamically. The approach relies on impedance control-based direct teaching, allowing the robot to apply appropriate force while avoiding excessive pressure on unintended areas. The robot may independently transition between several interaction force regimes thanks to an attention system for joint states. Tokyo Robotics to Robo Humanoid Robot is used as the test platform. Somatosensory and optical sensors, a sophisticated control system, and a compliance mode for regulating joint stiffness are all elements of this research-oriented device. Direct instruction is made possible using a motion capture device, synchronizing the robot's and operator's arm movements. During caring duties, impedance control ensures appropriate force application by enabling flexible motion execution. The EIPL architecture, based on the deep learning model, forecasts future events while reducing errors. A convolutional autoencoder processes RGB camera image input and extracts important spatial attention points. According to researchers, the selective kernel network, or SKNet, is applied for joint angle and torque attention, dynamically adjusting feature importance. The model predicts joint movements, sending commands to the impedance controller, ensuring precise and adaptive caregiving motions. Still in the testing phase, the team estimates that Eric will only be ready for nursing care or medical facilities by 2030. The initial price of the robot is expected to be at least 10 million yen, or approximately $67,000.